Hello, 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 Dodger fans, and welcome back to Dodger Insider on Facebook Live or on YouTube. I'm Emily Heidel, alongside Dodger Insiders, Rowan Kavner and Carrie Osborne. And we are here for the first of a three-game series against the Colorado Rockies. This is their first time visiting Dodger Stadium this season. Exactly. Ooh, I love the World Series goggles, too. Maybe a little premonition what's going to happen at the end of the season. But to maybe bring that on, we won last night 5 to nothing against the Nationals. Jock Peterson had two home runs. Max Muncy had two defensive gyms. CT3 had one triple, and we are now tied in the series 1-1. One, one. Let's take a look at last night's highlights. All right, guys, I'm standing here with Jalen Nixon, one of the Philadelphia ballers. We talked yesterday about your defense, and you're going to play hard for certain players. How do you feel about your defense so far this game? Obviously. You guys are nervous. I'm nervous right here. I know the N citizens over here are hyped. We are here with NCT 127. Very excited to have you guys. Now, you guys are just finishing up your U.S. tour, uh, New York City, the origin. What's been your favorite part of touring here in the U.S.? Second time this week, the Dodgers hosted another star-studded event, but this time it was for Yasiel Puig's foundation, the Wild Horse Foundation. Dodger players and celebrities alike gathered at the Dodger Stadium Club for the second annual Wild Horse Poker Charity event. One of our starters, Rich Hill, but the bullpen held it down. And also, CT3 had his first multi-home run game. Obviously, Bellinger got a home run, and Kyle Garlick had his first home run of his Major League uh, debut. Let's take a look at last night's highlights. Farm together, we can turn caring into doing. I'm here with Lance, and we're going to test his music knowledge to see if he can correctly identify the song. Lance, are you good at Top 40? Of course. It's not Top 40, so you're out of luck. All right, let's play the clip. You are correct, Lance. You win a Dodger prize back courtesy of State Farm. Thanks so much for playing. It is a very special day, you guys. Obviously, like Todd said, it is Jackie Robinson Day. We are celebrating the 72nd anniversary of him breaking the color barrier in baseball. And we also have Aloe Black here who's going to be singing as well. You guys have your 42 jerseys on. You guys need to be proud to be wearing those and celebrating Jackie Robinson, a guy who literally changed the complexion of the sport. The Dodgers and X Games came together today for an assembly celebrating ESPN's Shred Hate program. So we are with some of the pups that will be helping out with the first pitch. Tommy and Finley, they are actually therapy dogs. Cutest little Bichon Frises. As you just saw Justin Turner's three home runs from last night's trouncing of the Braves. But before we get into more highlights of that, let's look at the actual highlights of the entire game on Facebook Watch. Take a look. We're done talking about last night's game. Hopefully we have more K-pop stars in attendance and maybe we'll have some cool things <laughs> happen like last night. Here. Exactly, yeah. Um, but let's get to today's game. We have a pitching matchup between Clayton Kershaw and Mike Fultonevich. Um, if you guys don't remember, we did face Fultonevich in the NLDS because it is one of our players' birthdays. It's Alex Verdugo's 23rd birthday. He's 23 and has already Andrew. done more than I probably will ever <laughs> do. Uh, anyway, uh, Dave Roberts had to comment on his maturity on and off the field. Take a look. Hey. 21 aspiring female reporters and 28 NFL rookies join forces through Galvanize to not only gain more media exposure but also help each other realize each other's passions and dreams and work and life. I described you as King of the Jungle and when I think of Disney movies and King of the Jungle I think of Lion King. Do you consider yourself to be a Mufasa? Definitely, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you yeah. think you can translate that and bring that to this environment here where you're competing with other rookies who also might have considered themselves as Mufasa? Also, I know you guys probably got these as you were walking in. This is the giveaway. It is almost 2019, so in addition to being loud for this game, you need to be loud for the fact that it's almost the new year, guys. Are you guys hyped? Yes! Finally, they gave me something back. It has been a long time coming. I know y'all Dodger fans have been out here, and we've been out here like, what's going to happen with this season? But we're finally in the postseason. We are playing the Braves tomorrow, starting the NLDS. But uh, let's get to talking about that game 163, that tiebreaker that, uh, I mean, made everyone happy for the sixth time Dodgers win the NL West. You just told me that you flew in this morning from Kansas. But you got over 20 points this game. How did you do that? You're probably tired. The Dodgers Love LA Community Tour kicked off on on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day with manager Dave Roberts acting as the Grand Marshal of the 34th Kingdom Day Parade. Presented by New Era, I am here with Alyssa and it's going to be her first Mother's Day ever tomorrow. So let's see if you can win something. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to hide one ball under one of these four caps. We're going to shuffle it around. You have to tell us which cap has the ball under it. Are you ready, Alyssa? If you guys want to come out here and vote for our players, we have eight of them on the MLB All-Star Ballot. You can vote five times a day. We have some iPads here for you guys to vote in your enclosed voting station so you're not cheating however you might do that I don't suspect you would do that you in a home run derby no one or not have said no what do you think, do you think I think they both could beat me 
right now. Well, guys, that does it for us here at the Sherwood Country Club. For more information on how to donate, go to justinturnerfoundation.com.